In the world of cinema, few have left as indelible a mark as the actor who boasts 10 Oscar nominations, two wins, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Oh, God is good. God is great. Yes, we are talking about Denzel Washington. Let's delve into the story of the film that not only made Denzel a household name, but also changed cinematic history, Glory, an Oscar-winning film that stands as a pivotal classic in Hollywood, yet remains underrated by many. This film brings to life the compelling true story of an all-black regiment's valor during the Civil War, showcasing their fight for recognition and equality through their service. But has Glory truly received the recognition it deserves? As we unravel how this film reshaped cinematic narratives, you might find yourself reevaluating its place in film history. A lesser-known fact about Glory is its basis on the real-life heroics of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, one of the first African-American units in the Union Army. This regiment played a pivotal role in inspiring countless individuals to contribute to the Civil War effort. Among its members was Sergeant William H. Carney. Carney became the first black person to receive the Medal of Honor for his determination to keep the American flag aloft despite severe wounds. While Glory takes certain creative liberties with historical facts, its core stories resonate with truth and bravery. We'll explore these historical versus cinematic moments later. Before 1989, Civil War films often mirrored Gone with the Wind's romanticism or portrayed underdog Confederate stories in Union battles. Then came Glory, shifting the narrative focus. This film deepened the audience's understanding of the war's complexities. Glory stands out for its focus on black soldiers' contributions to their country, a narrative largely overlooked until its release. Posing to raise a regiment of Negro soldiers. No, 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 it was not just my idea. Mr. Douglas and We will us. offer pride and dignity to those who have known only degradation. Colored soldiers, Rob, just think of it. Celebrating the 35th anniversary of Glory, the director's reflections reveal the profound impact of working with Denzel Washington and his co-stars. Denzel, fully immersed in his role, demanded a level of concentration that taught the director the importance of not disrupting his focus. Things that I found in doing research I brought to the character. Denzel brought to life a performance that transcended the written script, adding depth and nuance not originally envisioned. The white man give you a couple of stripes, next thing you know you holler and order and everybody around like you the master himself. You ain't nothing but the white man's dog. Denzel character was set up as this ne'er-do-well. It was a guy you're never going to be able to depend on. What are you? So full of hate you just want to go out and fight everybody. We prevailed on Ed, that is more of a cliché than a reality. The things about characters like that is that they're strong. They won't be pushed around. Come on, Rob. Where, where's your pride now? Nah? Uncle Abe got himself a real bargain here. Hey, what you say, Buck? That's right, slaves. Uh -huh. Step right up, make your mark. Get your right. slave with you. The dedication to authenticity reached a peak during the filming of a crucial scene where Denzel insisted on a realistic portrayal even if it meant undergoing a controlled form of physical discomfort to capture the intensity of the moment. Having all the marks on his back, I found an actual picture. They showed this guy's back, so I showed it to the makeup man, and people were worried about it being too much, being over the top. I says, look at the guy, here it is. They just give you a glimpse of it, but it is there. The production team ensured safety while achieving realism, finding a material that simulated the act without causing harm. This commitment to authenticity paid off, culminating in a powerful scene marked by Denzel's single tear, a moment that not only showcased his exceptional talent, but also became a memorable emblem of his acting prowess. This dedication and transformative performance did not go unnoticed. Glory takes liberties with historical accuracy. Denzel Washington's character, Trip Rollins, is a fictional composite representing multiple real-life figures from the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment. Contrary to the film's depiction, many of the 54th were educated and free. Is it true? There's to be a colored regiment? Then I am your first volunteer. With a number having never been enslaved. I'm a free man, as was my father before me. While the film correctly portrayed the regiment's significant casualties and their inspiring acts of bravery, it simplified their backgrounds. How many here do not know right from left? Moreover, the film glosses over Colonel Shaw's documented hesitations about leading a black regiment. I've submitted your name, Robert, to be commissioned Colonel of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry. 
Thank you. A nuance that adds depth to the historical context, but is minimized in the narrative. Hey, Robert, what's wrong? I'm gonna do it. These adjustments in storytelling highlight the blend of fact and fiction in glory. This historian outlined four primary reasons behind the Civil War. The Lost Cause, the Reconciliation Cause, the Union Cause, and the Emancipation Cause. Glory specifically highlights the Emancipation Clause, focusing on the narrative of liberation and the fight for freedom. This thematic choice aligns with the film's emphasis on the all-black unit fighting not just for the Union, but for their own freedom. I ain't fighting this war for you, sir. But I still don't want to carry your flag. And the broader emancipation of enslaved people. Time's coming when we're going to have to ante up. Ante up and kick in like men. Like men! By centering around the emancipation cause, Glory brings a critical aspect of the Civil War's complex motivations to the forefront, offering a poignant exploration of the fight against slavery. Oh, I like it when they talk good as white folk. I'd be happy to teach you. I ain't got nothing to learn to know how to here. I am a free man as was my father before me. Oh, good. Well, why don't you move your free black ass on out my space before I have to bust hey, it hey, up? Hold up there, Buck. Ain't nobody said nothing to you, pal. Denzel Washington's role as Trip in Glory sparked debate among viewers regarding the character's likability. You want to fight me, boy? This kind of character couldn't like Andre Brower's kind of character, who had grown up being pampered. How about you? Are working for your father. Are you a member of Congress or something? Why are you the bloody Prince of Africa? But don't look at me, look straight ahead, look straight ahead! Nigga got the duck, that's all. Denzel, however, offered a unique perspective. One of those acting teachers told me that you have to love the character you're playing. I never, th I never ever thought it was not likable. Denzel's commitment to loving and understanding his character brought a nuanced and impactful dimension to his portrayal showcasing his profound insight into the craft of acting. Y'all's the only family I got. Well, I love the 54. Right. 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 Ain't much a matter what happens tomorrow. But we men ain't. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. During the production of Glory, the director chose to enrich the narrative by extending the scenes featuring Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman marking the departure from the studio's initial vision towards a white savior narrative. On set, the dynamic between the characters, including interactions with Sergeant Mulcahy, highlighted the depth and complexity of the story being told. Ultimately, the studio saw the film benefited from these changes. The final product was a testament to the director's vision and the actor's tenacity that resonated with audience and critics alike. But why is Glory still underrated? Being listed on the National Film Registry is one of the highest honors a film can achieve. From the year Glory was eligible, notable films such as Do the Right Thing and Sex Lies and Videotapes have been included, but Glory has yet to receive this distinction. Given its pivotal role in introducing the emancipation cause to Hollywood, Glory undeniably deserves a spot. Its story, its contributions to cinema, highlight its worthiness for the National Film Registry. What are your thoughts? Should Glory be recognized for its historical and cultural significance? Share your views in the comments below. Thanks for listening to the Legacy of African American Folk Tales, where we blend history and folk tales to give context to our modern world. Please subscribe to help our small channel grow and join our community of inquisitive minds and stick around to watch our next video.